Today we are opening one of the coolest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet products I've had to date. We have one entire case of Scarlet and Violet building battles. To celebrate this awesome product, we're giving away some beautiful cards from Scarlet and Violet to help you guys complete your set. To enter the giveaway, all you guys have to do is like this video, hit subscribe with notifications turned on, and leave a comment down below. All right, guys, let's see what 10 building battle boxes have inside. My boys, we're back with the big wumbo. Today is special because we have an entire case of Scarlet and Violet building battles to open today. On the front, you have Coridon. You see Maridon down here. We got the new starters on the side and some fun text on back. Let's go ahead and rip this guy open and take a look at everything inside. Slice, peel this off. And I think we just pop this. Ooh! And here it is. We have 10 whole building battles inside. Okay, so I have never had an entire case of building battles before. And this is my first time opening up one of these. Uh, I don't think the staff sign promo was in these. I think those were only in the pre-release kits, which I've never had either. So that's going to be a whole new thing if I can ever get my hands on those. But let's go ahead and see what all comes in these guys. So that... And there we go. We got the Quivalvel stamped card right off the get-go. I just wish it had the stamp on it. Um, we're going to leave this guy sealed for now. And then looks like we got four packs. Let's go ahead and crack them open and see what we get. So I've never really gotten anything good from building battles before. I, I wish I could be like some of you beautiful people who have managed to pull the best card in the set right off the bat. I think one to the front for Scarlet and Violet. Um, but that's never happened to me in a single build and battle. I think the best I've ever got was a full art. So maybe today that's going to change. We'll see how these compare to a booster box Wiglet and a Magnezone EX. Not bad. Um, let's see. What is that? 40 packs? So this is a little bit more than a booster box. So I'm going to hope the pulls are just as good as the Scarlet and Violet Porite has been in the booster boxes. Because my gosh, I'm sure you guys have opened some by now. I've opened up quite a bit of this set. And it's been very, very good. For the most part, I, you can complete the set in about a case um, if you are to drop that much money on it. Um, too bad none of the cards are worth a crazy amount like they are in Japanese, slow bro. But my gosh, this has been an amazing base set as opposed to something like Sword and Shield and some of the previous base sets that we've had. Nothing has had this good a pull rate. I keep wanting to do four to the front. Um, I'm just coming off of the previous video, which if you guys saw that one, oh my gosh, that makes me believe Fusion Strike definitely had cards pulled from it because that was one of the worst boost boxes I've ever opened. Sandaconda, Cloth, and an Armourage. Yeah, so they say, Pokemon Company says that nothing was taken from those boxes, but when you get a box like that with no secret rares, yeah, I'm gonna believe mine was one of the boxes that got stolen from. Um, so, who never, who, you never know, but the best thing you could do is buy the cards before they get too expensive. Amalopa, Rare Candy, and the Donzo. All right, Badoof, we got one down and nine more to go, but I challenge you to another round of Mario Party to see if I can smoke you. All right, Padoof, I'm going to be Yoshi, and we're playing Hot Rope Jump. Star! Yes, yes, I'm going to win. I'm going to beat you, Padoof. Today's the day. Wait, it's going too fast. No! Badoof, how do you always beat me at these games? You need to let me win. Okay, Badoof, Badoof is the true god master. I barely ever win against this guy. But if I, uh, one of these days, we'll get you. We'll get you. I think we won in GoldenEye, but that was about the only one we've ever won in. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and see, can we get all of the other ones? Oh, now we got the Halucha stamped one. So not bad. I think in this case, we should get all the stamped cards. Um, I don't, there's nothing crazy. And I kind of wish there was a Meowskarata stamped one instead of the Quavavel, but still very, very cool. Quavavel was an awesome Pokemon. I just didn't happen to use him in any of my playthroughs. Um, I played through Scarlet and Violet. Oops, almost did it again. I played through Scarlet and Violet. And uh, first time I had Meowskarata, the second time I had Skeledurge, Jock, Florgato, Zangoose, Capsicid, Energy Search, and the oh, speak of the devil, Meowskarata. It knew, it knew, boys. So seeing that Meowskarata just reminded me that we have Clay Burst and Snow, was it Snow Burst and Clay Hazard? No hazard, Clay Burst? Yeah, that's it. Uh, coming around the corner, the Japanese sets are going for ridiculous prices. Everyone wants the Iono. I also would kill for that Iono card, um, which, but everything is coming up very soon in the next couple of weeks here to a month, maybe. Klawitzer, we got a Drifling, and we have the Danzo. But I can't wait to get my hands on that set because that does have the SAR or ultra rares of all the starters, and it does have the stream legend Iono herself. 
which that is going to be my main chase card uh clearly because at the beginning of all my videos uh she is my new trainer and she is kind of my poster lady uh for the channel here quote waxel psych lizard Palmo, Meowth again, and oh, we got an Arvin! Not bad! So coming in with our first hit from one of these boxes is an Arvin. We do need the alt art, but this will do. Okay, so the second box, this is this is the eight packs in, and we got a trainer. That actually seems pretty good, it, as opposed to getting like a Silver Tempest box of one of these. I think I opened up a couple booster of a couple of the um, build battles of that. Got absolutely nothing. Um, if you guys got better, let me know. I'm, I'm sure you guys did. Team Star Grunt, Energy Search, and Coridon. Okay, which one of you guys is gonna have the Miriam? That's what I'm wondering. One of these has to have a very good pull. And oh, there we go. We got the Rev Room. So are they kind of sequentially in order? I'm not sure. So anytime you open up a case of product like this, I think you get things sequentially in order. Uh, when I opened up a Wise Schwartz case of trial decks, I happened to notice within that one, uh, trying to pull the Albedo that's up on the shelf over there, that that did sequentially have all the hits until inevitably you got the two cards you needed inside. Uh, Crocodile, Flamingo, Switch, Go Goat, and a Cloth. Okie dokie. Come on. Come on, we gotta see something here. Once we, once we get through this box, we're gonna start hustling. Um, because my gosh, we need to see something good. Caps the kid, a fish, palmo, toad school. We got a psych lizard, a toad school again, a mouse hold, drift loom, XP share, and a palmot. There has to be, there definitely has to be a secret rare soon. Otherwise, if there's not, I might not do this again unless if it's for a, you know, okay, let's call it Obsidian Flame coming up in July. That's going to be the Charizard set with the new Terra type, um, which like in the game should be absolutely incredible. And a Coridon. Um, That's a set I've already got my pre-orders in on uh, at my local card shop. Uh, even though that's a few sets away, we have assumingly the special set 151 coming out um, here soon enough. It's going to be one of the next ones, but I don't think... It's the, it's the one, maybe it's the one after Snowhazard Clay Burst, um, Cycle Lizard. But 151, uh, that most likely in English will be a special set, like we do ETBs only, and basically the normal stuff that comes in those. Oh, nope, not sequentially in order, Halucha. But yes, I, I can't wait to see that card because you know it's gonna have an ultra rare Charizard of the Black Flame. I don't know if he's gonna have a shiny version, which I really hope he does. Um, because like the very old Dragon Frontiers, I want to say, that how the old Charizard card, Revealion. Oh, a gold basic energy, nice! The one of the bigger hits I do not have. And on the end, Toxicroak, so two nice packs, or two nice hits in a pack. Uh, let's see, what else do I need? Arvin, that's the, I can't really think of what else I need. Um, I've got a couple, I've got two Miriams so far, which has been great. I can't wait to send those in for grading, even though who knows how those will actually do. Scovillian. Ooh, we got a Kalauncher, uh, Art Rare, which is nice. And on the end, Aquavel. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet just delivers. They did a great job with the pull rates in these sets. Um, I think they, they obviously want everyone to get back into this, uh, want to be into Pokemon uh, very, very nicely. And by giving us all the hits, everyone is stoked. But the only thing that does take a hit is the price point on some of these. Uh, Floget, Cloth, which I don't want to see him take too much of a hit. Um, it is nice when things are somewhat hard to get and still keep a high value. So maybe Charizard and stuff will have a, a decent value. But in English, uh, I own on Japanese is like $1,500. I bet in English it's like the Mir uh, the Miriam, where it's going to be like 80 bucks. Grazer, that thing, and a Maridon. And there should, there's only one more to get, and it looks like we got it. It's the cute, oh, look at the cute Palma with the stamp. That is awesome. Very good. Okay, guys, and I will be giving away some of these sealed little cases as well for any of the dupes that we get um so if you guys uh make sure to like and subscribe and leave that comment down below so if you are the winner i can reach out to you guys and get you um some of the products that you guys are winning uh because some people are not <laughs> some people aren't responding to me which kind of is a bummer i'm trying to give people stuff and sometimes people aren't responding it makes me a little bit bummed out hey yes we got an oinka line we got the piggy very nice but uh, I, I'm still reaching out in some of the older videos. I've been trying to get some people, some of the winners of their products, and I haven't, uh, some of the gifts, and I haven't heard from anyone yet. I'm a little sad. People aren't responding. Okay. We got a couple more. Let's see what we're going to get. Well, Trio, Judge, Floatso. Oops, I skipped one. A Rocky Helmet, Drowsy, and a Gardevoir. Besides the Seeker Rare, uh, Energy Card, still no Mega Hitters yet. Oh, I'm looking for the Coridon. I do not have the SAR version of him. I know in English it's not called the SAR version, but uh, I'm just used to that from Japanese. So that is one I'm most certainly looking forward to reading. 
Code School, Dedene, and Professor's Research. Oh, we also need Sada. Yeah, there's a, there's still a couple good hits I would like to see from this set. I don't know if they will show up from the building battles, um, but this is a good test to see what a case in building battles has to offer. Um, let me know, have any of you guys opened building battles before Reverum? And have you guys gotten um, pretty much all the best luck out of these? Or has any of you guys opened up a case and kind of seen what the pull rates are like? And we got another Quibobble. 20 booster packs down. And I think we're on to the last 20. So inside of a 36 packs, typically you were, I was getting what, two secret rares, a bunch of other uh, art rares, maybe one or two train cards. Like it was pretty good. It's like 12 to 14 hits you basically get annihilate. And I don't think, I think it's all random to these guys. So it's, it's hard to say what the building battles have to offer. Um, but I hope there's at least one SAR card here inside. Um, I'll be a little bummed if we can't see at least one. Katie, Houndoom. Geldurge, but uh, you figure by now we would have seen one. I'm, I'm surprised at the randomness of this product that we uh, we would have seen something good by now. And I'm just kind of flying through these. Reverend, oh, King Gambit, awesome, dude. Yes, this is one of my favorite art rares to see and it'll make a beautiful giveaway card. And on the end, Arbolivia, Arboliva, Olives. So this is a good comparison to see uh, what's, what's more worth it. And I think this case of building battles, I think they go for like, it's more than a booster box for sure, but it is a couple more packs and the promos, so not too bad. Lucario, that thing, Switch, Ralts, and Reverum again. Starting to uh, starting to get a little nervous here that we're not going to see one, but we got to. Halucha, come on, show me what these building battles are all about. Otherwise, I, I don't know if I need more of these again. I might, if I ever get cases of these, maybe it's just worth holding on to these. I'm not too sure. Booster boxes seem to suffice uh, pretty good. Heracross, we got a band. Oops, well, oh, Mabostiff, nice. I definitely didn't have this one yet. So that's the cute little dog that we're trying to heal throughout the series. And on the end, slow bro. Oh, funny enough, well, <laughs> we saw Arvin and we saw his dog. Now it would be fitting if we saw the SAR version. That would be actually quite funny if we saw that. Um, Let's go ahead and see, can we get anything else good inside this box? The Gardevoir, perhaps? Or a Great Tusk? Are we just going to see every EX card besides, like, good hits? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if these are seeded or what these actually look like to open. Um, I mean, this is, we're seeing a, a bunch of good stuff, but not as many good cards as I would have thought, Houndstone. I'm starting to believe building battles aren't necessarily the way, except for maybe the one out of, like, I don't know, 20 boxes that maybe has something good in it. This is a full case, man. You, you figure this would have a lot of good hits in it. Mankey, Psych Lizard, Revival again. All right, and who do we have in here? Bama! Come on. It's gotta be, gotta be one inside, right? They couldn't do us like this. Or maybe they could, I, I don't know. Oops, I see something shiny on the end there. It looks gold. 100, hey, it's the fighting gold energy. So two secret rares, not bad. And a Great Tusk again, another double hitter fat uh, pack. And I don't think I had that fighting energy. Maybe I did, um, but okay. Well, pretty much then so far, these 40 packs are starting to kind of seem like a booster box. So anything else we get on top of this now uh, might start to exceed a little better than a booster box. Reverend again, but it does look like we're seeing a lot of the, uh, a lot of the same cards, which isn't surprising. I mean, it's a big set, but once you open up so much product, you're, you're bound to see a, a lot. Um, but if you guys are enjoying this video, let me know. I would like to open more Scarlet and Violet, even though we're kind of on the, uh, the butt end of it here. And I don't know if I need to make another video of it, but, or I'll think of something. But yeah, if you guys can think of a fun video idea, let me know. And as long as the price isn't ridiculous, maybe I can go ahead and do it. Uh, that thing's a Viper, Youngster, Blissey, Jock, Indeedy, that thing, and a Palm Hut again. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. This is back to the, oh God. Decent Quivavel. There's gotta be one Pokemon SAR in here. Yeah. Fusion Strike, stop leaking on over. Stop doing this to me. Yeah, we need to see something. Team Star, Spirit Tomb, another Gardevoir. Well, the good news is we're seeing a lot of EX cards. Um, if you guys who play the game, are any of the EX cards uh, really good yet? I'm not sure. I figured Gardevoir or something must be good for the new the new set as far as gonna be what's in the new meta, Oinkalang, Arboliva. But I don't play the TCG yet. I've tried to I've tried to learn, but I don't really have anyone to play with. So uh, we don't have any friends to play it with or no one who's interested in it since we're just collectors. Um, it's a little hard to get going. Rev Room, I think that's like the 50th Rev Room we've seen now. Okay, maybe Badoof is holding down the best box. That must be it. 
But Doof clearly is hiding the best pull. Are you hiding the Miriam, perhaps? Any other full art trainers? Aircross, the Donzo. Okay, well, definitely not as good as I would have thought so far. And the last one, hey, another red room. So I think we have doubles of all of them. Which now this is 40 packs. And then I'll take a look at some of the booster boxes I've opened. I think this is weaker. Unless these four packs are absolute fire. Um, this seems to be weaker. Masquerada. Yeah, so far this is seeming out to be a little weaker than a booster box. I think money-wise, guys, do not buy a case except for the coolness factor uh, because a case of this is definitely 10 out of 10. This It's hard to beat, but so far, I think you're better off with a booster box, Palmot. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. Two packs left. Unless we see something mega, then yeah, this, this, these are, this was not the move. This is just the coolness factor. It seems like you're better seated inside of a booster box, Halucha. And the last pack, come on. Come on, everybody. Last pack magic, can we do it? Can we see anything else good? Come on. And, oops, Penny, that, that. No, oh, oh gosh, okay. Well, building battles, maybe not the best way to get pulls. Okay, so, very cool video. A, bo a box, an entire case of building battles. That is, the coolness factor is 10 out of 10, but, um, Honestly, I thought the polls are going to be a little bit better than that. So maybe not the best way to get polls is buying an entire thing of those. Um, it, except if there is anything in the future that has like a, a Mew, a Lugia, a Charizard stat, like promo in it again, or with a stamp or any like the big main chase cards with a stamp on it, that would be huge. But if it's just like these, these building battles, probably not the best bet. I think retail on a single one is about 20 bucks i think so not the best way to get pulls uh for scarlet and violet buy booster boxes because oh my gosh they are insane thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to watch one of these two videos i guarantee it's gonna have something in there that you enjoy and it actually probably has better hits than this one as always you guys are the true heroes and i'll see you in the next episode have a good night everybody